Hey, what's going on everybody? So I'm gonna go over to the Homestead Spring Game at Harris Field. Really looking forward to seeing these guys in action. I've already been over to Homestead to see some practice, but also I wanna see how they do in the spring game. It's gonna be an offense defense format. Daniel Lyons, Dante Anderson, you guys know the names, defensive linemen that Miami's offered. I'm looking forward to seeing how they do, as well as 2023 wide receiver, David Jester. And if any other guys emerge, looking forward to see how they do too. So let's go check it out. Just getting in here to Harris Field. I've been to pretty much all the parks down here in South Florida. And honestly, I really enjoy Harris Field. I know Traz Powell is the historic name and all that, but there's just something about Harris Field. And I'm gonna show you guys the field and some of the renovations that were done if you haven't been here for a few years, but the Orange Bowl Committee, and you can see the field right over there. I see some of the players already here. You see the team buses there. So I'm gonna grab a parking spot, get in there, watch some warm ups, talk to a few people. I just want to show you guys the stadium real quick. Hey, what's going on? So I just talked to Coach, got the roster. They're going to do about two quarters of action tonight. Going to start with seven on seven. So looking forward to this. Had a good time talking to Coach Simpson a little bit just before this gets started. So looking forward to it. You can see the field. Players are kind of warming up right now. It's not a full, full deck yet, but uh, yeah, it should be good. Looking forward to it. So because of the wind and sometimes some of the music that was played at the stadium, I was unable to record at the game. There'll be certain times where I'll have to go back but basically, most of the time, I will be doing commentary. So here we go. Number four, David Jester, 2023 wide receiver, has an offer from and Miami. A lot of schools are interested in him. And you see right here, this is number two, Richard Dandridge, another 2023 receiver that has offers, one to watch for as well. I like both of those guys in practice. Number 13, Mark Evans. Just getting, once again, just taking a look around the, the stadium as warm-ups are going on. A lot of guys are getting ready. Really looking forward to this. They're going to have some fans in the stands, which will be nice. Basically just a, a chance for a lot of guys to show what they can do, what they've learned from spring ball, which started in April. So this is a great way to end it. And I, as you can see right there with the flag and all the palm trees, a lot of wind really affects things, but I'm going to try to keep it as clean as possible. So we're doing some one-on-ones before it gets started. This is number one running back, Tyrone Maxwell, going against Deshaun Foster. These one-on-one -on -one battles are always great to see. So that's number four, that's Jester, just talked about him. You see the good size, he's been a guy that's played at the varsity level since he was in seventh eighth grade. And that's number one, Dante Anderson right there. Good battle between these two, that's great to see. Always good to see former guys coming back to support their high school team. I remember watching Herb when he was in high school. So 42, that's Marquand Strong. Going against 56 a.m. Brown. Nice win by Marquand there. I like that this is the way they're getting this thing started. That's Lonnie Brady, 65. They really like Mackie, productive player. They really like him. Really curious to see how he does. Defense getting after it. It's good to see with these spring games too. It's not just about the big time players. A lot of guys on the team looking to be key, key contributors. Contributors for a winning team. Seven's a freshman, had a good freshman year. Andrews, number two, mentioned him earlier, so good battle here. Whenever they do that, 
I always want to get guys that are about the same size or, or similar positions on the field going at it. So that's great to see. So we're going to get this thing started just around the corner. Definitely appreciate everybody for watching, checking this out. Walking out right now, we got the captains, Maxwell one, Joshua Townsend, the quarterback number three. And on defense, you see right here, that's Daniel Lyons and Dante Anderson, of course. It's great to see your best players, leaders, captains, doing all the right things and good to see. So should be getting going real quick. This is Dante Anderson, number one. So the offense and defensive line are getting some work in here before they get the full pads going. And then on the other end, we're doing some seven on seven work. So here we go, we've got Joshua Townsend. Nice catch by Mark Evans over the middle. Mark's gonna be a key piece of the Homestead offense. Another former Southridge player. I like this format, it gives you some seven on seven action. After you saw those one on one battles, do some seven on seven before the actual 11 on 11 action gets going. So number two, I see Richard Danridge going to the far side. And that's David Jester up top as well. So a quick throw over to Jester, a short throw. I think Jester's a guy that you can do a lot with you saw right there the short throws. I think he has the ability to go deep as well. So here we go. We got a little bit of offensive line, defensive line action. I'd like to see Anderson one, and then Daniel Lyons as well. Looks like Lyons is going to get going right here for some for a rep. Let's keep our eyes on him. See how he does off the ball. Makes an inside move. Defensive tackle with good size and I think he's got good quickness as well. Does a good job with his hands. So he's got a couple reps. That's just a good pushback. Just a lot of strength right there. Looking back at seven on seven. Jester goes to the inside move. It's another tough catch by Dandridge and 22 Anthony Ellison. Really curious to see how he does today. Andrews just getting there's Ellison once again. Great length out of Ellis in the corner there. 2022 prospect to watch. And the quarterback Joshua Townsend started last year as a freshman. I know they like his dual threat ability. And as you can see, he's got some weapons here. A lot of key guys that they could go to. I see seven Brown. Isaac Brown's a running back that they can go to as well. They just swapped him there. He's the, the last guy back. So he backs it off. Kind of on cue right there. So they able to just kind of get the ball out to him quick. And he's got three receivers there blocking downfield. So everybody's up top there. Really got four guys. This is a great catch by Dandridge that I missed. It's one of the top plays already. So that's good to see I missed it. I wish he, I saw the four receivers up top and I just didn't have it zoomed right. But good catch by Dandridge downfield once again. I, it, you know, just kind of seeing him at practice and seeing him right here. It seems like he's a guy that could ever really productive season if they can get the ball out to him. They certainly are trying to. Oh, so they're going to go deep again. Oh my, that's a great catch by Ellison. He's inbounds. Referee says, that's great. Great play by Ellison. As you see, he got beat the play by before. But then he makes up for it there. Just gets good leverage and, and kind of pushes Dangerous more to the sideline. He's able to kind of look back for the ball and and make a pick so once again he's like a he's got a good size at corner back there a guy that I like and I think he's got a shot to be one of those sleepers in Dade County very curious to see how he does you know once these guys get to their senior years it's kind of uh, it's just a great opportunity for them to really shine so 
Not many openings there. Oh my goodness. I don't know if he had his foot in bounds, but a great catch regardless by Isaac Brown. So here we go. We got 11 on 11 action. I see Dante Anderson at defensive end up top. You see him standing up there at orange shoes. Also on the defensive line is Daniel Lyons in orange shoes. Easy to track those guys down. Both off the ball fast. Got, a, got an interception already by Jamari Matthews. Number 10. That's a good play. I see 21 Joel Talley there. He'll be easy to identify with his his tape there on his leg. So here we go. We're going to keep it going with the offense. So that's number one. That's Tyrone Maxwell. Number one on defense is Dante Anderson. Tyrone Maxwell looking for a spot to run, but the blue defense. And that's good to see from Dante just that he's able to get to the – Dante Anderson. Make tackles in the run game. And a bunch of on the stop. He's a guy that's known for pass rush and ability, quick off the ball, but all of those guys, you want them to be able to defend the run as well. So good start for Dante, able to do that. Maxwell's a good running back. I know they're expecting big things for him this year. So Anderson out there. There's 21 Joel Talley on the, on the tackle. And you've already seen Dandridge make plays in seven on seven. Richard Dandridge on reception. I like how they move him out there. Catching balls out of the backfield and go downfield with them. You see him in the slot right there on the near side, and then Jester number four. Sack. Quarterback Pocket. sack. Pocket just collapsed on. Yeah, 42, Marquand Strong. Played some offensive line last year. They like him on the defensive line. Undersized guy, but a really good tackler to play along with Lyons and Anderson. Man. Defensive line's doing a good job of applying pressure already. Dante Anderson once again in the backfield. He's going to come off the field here, but it's like they're kind of mixing in some short throws. Try to not let the defensive line get to the quarterback, so they want to do some quick throws. If they get some time to throw. I think that's where you can find Dandridge or Jester downfield. We got four receivers. Got a running back here. Townsend shows his running ability right there up the middle. 17, that's Deshaun Foster once again. And Joel Talley, 21. Another quick throw out to Maxwell. That's good speed. A lot of defenders in the area, but Maxwell has the speed to get to the outside. See Strong and Ellison out there. You got a nice size offensive line. It's always a key in high school. You definitely want to have as many big bodies up front. I see the left tackle, 72's Derek DeGren from South Dade, so he's at Homestead there, 72. Going shotgun. Number of receivers once again. So we got Isaac Brown in motion. That's good. So he's a running back freshman last year. Just give him the ball. He was a guy that was warming up at receiver a little bit. He can kind of be... A guy that they can move around a little bit with Maxwell primarily in the backfield. But they've got Brown as well that they can use. Looks like they want to use him in different spots. He's in the slot right now. Going four wide shotgun. Once again, got him in motion. It's a great example. You draw the defense's eyes because of the play you did before when you give him the ball. But then there you just hand it off to Maxwell. Similar, similar looking play here. That's a deep pass. It's a great catch by Isaac Brown. Once again, you're able to utilize him in different areas. 
He certainly looks to be a playmaker for the Broncos. Getting downfield there. It's interesting because they, they go short passes quite a bit, but they're able to strike it deep. Just finished the first quarter of action. You saw Isaac Brown with that nice touchdown catch, freshman, class of 2024. Pretty good quarter overall. So down on the field for the second quarter. Just gonna go two quarters of action. Again, keep your eye on Dante Anderson. I thought he had a good first quarter. Daniel Lyons applied pressure as well. Curious to see what the offense does here. Nice quick throw. Again, Richard Dandridge. Richard Dandridge having a good spring game so far. Very active. God, they're going to use quite a bit. They can use some in versatile ways. And they have Jester on the other side, obviously. He's over here. Take a look at him. Let's watch him on this route. Just isolate on him. 22. This is Ellison. Tall corner. Had the pick earlier. Pretty good route by Jester there. So the ball was tipped at the line of scrimmage. The pass went short. Ellison with good coverage. See right here, great size. Ellison's about six foot three. Transfer from Southridge. He's a guy I saw a couple years ago making plays. So good to see him make a play in the spring game as he prepares for his senior year. So we got third down here. Let's see what they dial up. Dante Anderson. That's just a great example of what Dante can bring to the team. Obviously, he can pass rush to the quarterback, good speed off the edge, but he can also be a little bit more patient like he was right there. Guard the running back out of the flat, get his hands up. He's got great length. And it's one of the rare things. One of the rare skills he has with his length that he's able to utilize, once again, not just on his pass rushing ability, but also backing up and, and defending the pass. So that's great to see. Definitely makes things tough. And the offense definitely had, looked like they had a chance to get a first down if they completed that pass. So they're gonna go ahead and replay this. It's about third and five here. Let's see what Dante does on this play. Standing up a little bit. Good pressure. That's number nine. That's Eamon Mackey. Freshman played a lot last year. He's the guy they really like for their program. Once again, number nine. Really good player. Finishes tackles. I think he had about eight sacks last year. Or something like that. So now they are going to bring up fourth down here. Let's take a quick look at the, the marker. They're putting her right at it. But, yeah, we got that. They're calling four down, fourth down, fourth and short. And the quarterback that can run, Townsend, gives you that dual threat ability. Well, they could try to make it interesting. Once again, they could go just or deep. I'd be surprised if they did that. Look for some sort of zone read play here. Anderson once again standing up number one right here orange shoes really good play by Anderson Looks like a bit of a broken play but once again he shows his patience it was really right in front of him but Anderson could have definitely been a little over anxious missed the play but he stayed right in his gap where he needed to be Finish it off, so 
Turnover on downs, another good play by the defense. So we're going to take a little bit of a break. Both top groups back in on the field. Top offense, top defense. Got Jester off to the side here. I'll swing over there if he gets in play. Another run. Except some of the arts. So we got to mark it at the 15 here. I like that both top groups are in. Looks like they might try to finish this off here. Ball on the 15. We really want to see this matchup with Justin Ellison on the outside. Just got one safety back. Let's see Jester. Try to get them in action here. Could look for a fade in the corner. So he goes slant. Nice play by Ellis in there. And one thing with Jester. I've actually seen him play for the basketball team here. So he has his good jumping ability. Ellison's going to be one of those guys to keep an eye on. I said it a couple years ago. I, I know he doesn't have the, the big recruiting offers, things like that, but just his size. If he can have a good senior season, really get his name out there. On a defense, I should have a lot of eyes on it because of the defensive line that we've talked about quite a bit already. Mark it in once again on the 15 after the incomplete pass. Townsend's looking for him. Just a bit high. He was open too. He was open. Hasn't had too many targets, but that was a good play by him to get open. He just missed him. Three mark in at the 20. They go first and 10. Looking at the personnel. Looks very similar. Very same. Looks like the same guys on offense. Defense with a couple adjustments, but again, two dangers right here. And just out wide, still being guarded by Ellison. I know he wants to get that touchdown back, so let's see if Townsend can connect with them. There's also some other receivers looking to get the ball. Maxwell nice run by Maxwell. Nice touchdown run and celebration for Maxwell. He was breaking loose a little bit off to the left. I think he gets that carry to the right. Finishes it off with a score. 20 yard touchdown for Maxwell. He's had a good spring game. Done well. He's a guy that was doing a good job of exploding through the holes. I remember when he was at Palmetto. Coach Manasco was very high on him. Liked what he was able to give him. They had a number of running backs at that time. So Maxwell comes over here along with Brown. You saw with that long touchdown catch. Now Maxwell the touchdown, so it looks like they got two good running backs. In addition to sprinkling in with what they can do on offense with just on one side and dangers that they can move around. So and Mark Evans is a good receiver as well. So they've got some options. Even without Harris out here. So marking it on a 10 here. Looks like a little situational play down the stretch here. Brown. 
Brown's yeah. Isaac Brown just talked about him catching the, the long touchdown. Now he's getting the, a carry here. So Dandridge is going to the other side. Getting ball on the fourth, second down here. Again, got Mackey number nine on defense. Am I looking to blitz there? There we go, it's coming my way. That's a big hit there. And that was number eight, Wesley Cadet. Stand alone. Hey, wrap up, dog. Hey, bump it up. Wesley, bump it up. Dan's telling him to wrap up on that tackle, so. Definitely had that big hit though. Looks like again at the four. I'm gonna go third down. Chester unable to hit it again. Ellis, one, Ellis once again. Good coverage by him. Just leave him out there on the edge, even against a guy like Jester. Go, go, go. Quarterback on. Townsend with the touchdown. Gives him that element, being able to run the ball, especially for a quarterback, being able to go up the middle. A little extra size. Good open field tackle by Ellison. I saw Anderson dropping in coverage. Once again with Anderson, just one of those versatile players that, that doesn't have to stay on the line of scrimmage. Seeing him line up here in the linebacker spot. Certainly he'll be a defensive end most of the time, but just showing that he can do this. Ellison almost had his second interception of the, of the game on the tip pass. Nice tackle by Anderson. That's 
So Jester does get his touchdown. A little bit more difficult than the ones in the red zone, but he goes deep. Shows his ability once again that he can make tough catches. Close to the line of scrimmage. They also can beat you deep. So definitely good to see by Jester. David Jester, you heard the announcer saying his nickname of Fred, so good to see. Good way to, for Jester here on the spring game, something to build on. Going into the summer, Coach, Coach Simpson was really happy with what he saw from Jester this spring. Had a lot of good days. And just rotating from behind the play, so you could see Anderson once again and Lyons coming up the middle. So good pressure by both guys right there. And again, Mackey's right in there, number nine. Converging there. But I like to I like to show you guys this point of view. Because you can really see the guys coming at you. Kind of takes a look at what the quarterback and the running back are looking at as well. See Lions setting up inside, trying to get good spacing to find a good hole to get into the backfield. See Maxwell one and Brown seven. So they got two back. Backs in this play here. Anderson coming off the edge. So he converge. Once again, batted down another pass. Impressive performance by Anderson. Really good play. I definitely want to talk to Coach Simpson about him and see what he thought about his performance. You see Coach Simpson right there. Congratulating Anderson. But yeah, he just had a really good game. Really good performance by him. Sometimes top players especially in inner squad games sometimes when you you know when it's spring games you understand it but sometimes in inner squad games you don't always get the best from from the guys that are used to playing their teammates all the time but i don't think we saw any letdown at all by dante he had a really good game really good performance so you see his versatile skill set townsend's looking to go maybe looking to call off a play let people know what's going on Let's see if lions or anderson can get in here That's the big thing about Homestead and the defensive line. Again, a lot of guys made plays. I want to ask about Dante Anderson. Because we saw what he brings to the table. He just gets to the backfield, but also batting down passes. What kind of skill set does he have that makes him so special, so unique? Unique. I mean, just a different skill set. You got his, his co-partner, Daniel Lyons, who's just a, you know, unmovable force. You know, he, 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 he can disrupt a play. Dante, Dante Anderson is whoever that kid uh, fortunate to have in college. He's, he's going to be an exceptional human being academically. Um, you know, he's an amazing person. He's a great family man. And the, the things he's able to do as a player, you know what I mean? Just, it's not just sex. It's the batted balls. It's, it's, you know, it's chasing the guy 40 yards down the field, the 50, 50 balls when it's a fumble. He's there to recover. I mean, Dante is an all-around player that I just can't imagine anyone not being wanted to have in their program. And then with Lions, can you talk about his progress throughout spring ball? It ends today, but just what, what did you see with his progress as a player? Well, with Dante, I mean, with Daniel Lions, you know, it's it's always unique to see how those guys play out going into their senior season. You know, going back to the Jadavis Clownies, that are, you know, guys in terms of high school and being physically dominant, uh, you know, larger than life and bigger than other guys. And, 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 and their, their biggest challenge is themselves. Not getting lax of days, or not getting complacent, not getting lazy, creating new, bad, creating, creating bad habits. And so Daniel, I mean, Daniel will be another guy who having this today. Hasn't been late. Shows up every day. See how that wraps up the Homestead spring game. A lot of good things that you saw out here. I think I want to start with Dante Anderson, just because you saw the versatility that he brings to the defensive line. Not only can he get to the quarterback off the edge, but also you saw a bunch of times where he tipped passes. I think that was great to see. Makes him a very versatile prospect. And then also you saw in the end zone there, lining up at a linebacker spot. So a guy that's very athletic, but a guy that also makes plays in different ways. D did a good job against the run as well. But he's a guy that definitely you got to keep your eye on as a playmaker, his recruitment. Certainly has a lot of schools interested. So good to see there. Daniel Lyons, I thought he had a good day as well. Strong up front, just tough to tough guy to guard against, really. A couple guys I want to touch on that maybe not, they don't have as big of a recruitment right now. I know David Jester, he does have the Miami offer as well. So good to see him go deep once again on that touchdown. That was crazy because he was unable to get the ball in the red zone, but he goes deep, shows his ability as a receiver 
to do different things. I think that was great to see. I really like what I saw from Richard Dandridge, another 2023 wide receiver, a guy that they move around quite a bit. You can put him at different places on the field as a receiver. Also, you can, show, you can throw short passes to him. You can also go deep a little bit. So he provides a lot to the offense. And I think if there was one guy that improved his stock today, I think it has to do with, with Ellison. You know, Anthony Ellison did a good job against Jester. He's a guy with great length, so he's definitely one of those rare cornerback prospects. He definitely has that, the, the footwork um, to keep an eye on at, at cornerback. I know a lot of times bigger defensive backs get moved to safety, but it looks like again today, he does a good job of getting his hands on the ball, batted down passes, had the interception, a good day for Ellison. So good to see out of him. So overall it was great. Tyrone Maxwell, big day. You know, touched on Isaac Brown, the freshman, Joshua Townsend's leading the way at quarterback. So overall, a good performance at the Homestead Spring Game here at Harris Field. Definitely hit the like button if you guys like this kind of feature. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Definitely appreciate it, everybody. Thanks for watching.